Probably the most important feature of this release is the increased flexibility you now have with proxy workflows. Now I'm working with original media in this project here, and that's because this is all compressed H.264 media, and I can pretty much handle this on an iMac, it'll all play back and it'll work fine. But if I wanted to send this to another machine or put it online, all the files are still going to add up. And that problem gets worse if you're working with original media, say for regular ProRes 422. So I might want to convert to proxies, a smaller format. And I could have done that on import, or I could choose to transcode media to make a smaller version of the file that's still easy to work with, but takes up a lot less space. When I choose transcode media, I can create optimized, like I've always been able to, or I can create proxy media, a smaller version. And previously you could only use ProRes proxy as your codec, but you can now use the much smaller H.264. Also previously, the frame size was chosen for you. It was either the same as the source or 50% of that, but now you can choose. You can go to 25% or 12.5% of the original frame size, or pick a dedicated exact size. This is now far more flexible when you want to minimize picture quality to favor file size instead, and it's going to enable a whole lot more collaboration. So for example, if I was to take this file and make an H.264 version at say 25% of the original 4K frame, I'll just say OK. You'll see the progress bar going past as before. And now I've got a proxy version of this file. And you can tell that if you look in the basic view, for example, you'll see I've got original. I've never optimized it, but I have a proxy version of the file. And I could use the transcode media here as well. One additional bonus is that they've changed the way the viewer menu works. So it used to be you could choose optimized or original or proxy. So the old proxy only option would send everything else to be missing because I didn't have proxy media available. And now I can choose proxy preferred. So all the other clips for which there are no proxy files available show as original or optimized. But this file displays the proxy. This is going to be awesome when you haven't made all the proxies yet, or you only need to make proxies for some files. And to show you how much smaller the files can be, I'll reveal the original file. And you'll see this clip was 432 meg. And now instead, I'll reveal the proxy file. And now the proxy file you'll see is just 14.6 meg. And does it look okay? Well, it doesn't look as good as the original, but it's certainly acceptable for editing purposes, which is the whole point of using proxies in the first place. This is terrific, and in the next video, I'll show you some of the other features which are really going to help with collaboration workflows.